go through the different means of earning forgiveness. There are certain deeds, when you do them, automatically you get forgiven. There are certain deeds, when you do them, automatically you are forgiven. The first deed is for a non-Muslim to know that the minute he enters the fold of Islam, he is forgiven completely. He starts with a new slate. But there is a little bit of explanation which a lot of people forget to tell the non-Muslims who are entering or reverting or converting. And that is, did you know that when a non-Muslim is turning to Islam, the evil is wiped out, but the good is not wiped out. The good comes with them. They carry it through. Subhanallah. Allah never ever wastes your good deeds. If you did good deeds in the past, if they are carried through. What happens is your bad deeds are wiped out. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us inshallah goodness and we should promote this word to those who've accepted Islam that whatever good you did before, it will come through, it is carried through. But whatever bad you did, you are forgiven. Subhanallah. And that is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The same applies with myself and yourselves. When we seek forgiveness, when we say you starting as, as the day you were born, it does not mean that your good is wiped out. It means the bad is wiped out. That is what is meant by it. When you go for hajj, that's a deed. Allah speaks about going for hajj. When you go for hajj, then obviously you will return as pure as the day you were born. It doesn't mean that you start with no good deeds. Your good deeds are all there. But the bad deeds, the record of bad deeds is as clear as the day you were born. I hope we understand that inshallah. So the deeds that we can engage in inshallah and we should be engaging in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says good character and conduct automatically results in a person's minor sins being forgiven subhanallah Allah says, those who had manners when it came to speaking to the Prophet ﷺ, those with character and conduct, Allah tested them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, for them is forgiveness. So the Mufassireen have explained that good character and conduct will make you arrive in heaven. One narration says, the Prophet ﷺ was asked, tell us which deeds are the deeds that will result most in, a, in people entering heaven. So the maximum number of people entering heaven, what made them enter heaven? So he said two deeds. Taqwa Allah wa husnul khuluq. Good deeds, meaning sorry, the consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, number one. And number two, good character and conduct. Subhanallah. So when you are good character, conduct, you speak well, you are honest, you are a, a very, very reliable, good, decent person. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that itself will result in Allah's mercy descending upon you. Ana wa husnul khuluqi wa wa sahibul husnul khuluqi ka hatayni fil jannah. That may be a narration. Some have questioned its authenticity, but the meaning is correct. Where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is said to have said, that myself and the one who has good character and conduct, we will be like this in paradise. Which means very close to each other. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us mercy. Then if a person utters the truth and speaks that which is upright all the time, Allah says we will forgive them. Listen to what Allah says in Surah Al-Ahzab. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu attaqullaha wa qoolu qawlan sadeeda. O you who believe, be conscious of your Creator and only utter that which is upright. Yuslih lakum a'malakum wa yaghfir lakum dhunubakum. Allah will make pure your deeds. He'll purify your deeds just because of your truthfulness and just because of your good words. Just because you uttered that which was upright and he will forgive your sins. For indeed he is most forgiving, most merciful. Those who fulfill their salah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about that in Surah Al-Isra. إِنَّهُ كَانَ لِلْأَوَّابِينَ غَفُورًا those who constantly turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah says, we will forgive them. In fact, the term awwabin is also used to refer to those who fulfill salah at a certain time of the evening. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the ability to read extra salah, not only the farad, but even some extra salah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then, to believe and do good deeds, I'm sure we all know that that will automatically forgive your sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in fact, and this is a very powerful verse. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I want to show you my mercy. When you turn to me, if you return and from that day you do good deeds, I won't only forgive you. No, my mercy dictates that I will take all the bad deeds you have done throughout your life and I will convert them into good deeds on the right side of the scale. So when you come on the day of Qiyamah, the, the, the goodness of your repentance will actually be shown to you where your bad deeds would have been shown as good deeds. Subhana Rabbi Al-Ala. And there is a reason for this. Read what the Mufassirin say. Some of them have mentioned a very interesting point. They say, the more sins you have, the more difficult it is for you to repent because shaitan massages you even more. When you are deep in sin, it's harder for you to come out. You know, they say, subhanallah, when a person is engrossed in something for years on end, it's very hard to take them out of that. So if they have to come out, Allah says, we're not going to waste that coming out. You deserve us to take all that evil and we will actually turn it and put it on the other side of the scale and you will now have good deeds. So on the day of judgment, you will see charities, you will see salah, you will see zakah, you will see hajj, you will see so many deeds. You say, ya Allah, where did this come from? Is it my deeds? And Allah will say, no oppression today. Listen to what I said. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in Surah Al-Furqan, إِلَّا مَنْ تَابَ وَآمَنَ وَعَمِلَ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا فَأُولَٰئِكَ يُبَدِّلُ اللَّهُ سَيِّئَاتِهِمْ حَسَنَاتٍ Those who return to Allah and do good deeds thereafter, Allah says for them, we will convert their bad deeds into good deeds. Subhana Rabbi Allah. Allahu Akbar. Now, can anyone compete? With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy? No. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then tells us that if we are to engage, if we are to engage in sincere repentance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely forgive us even after having committed a sin. Many people commit immorality. People have committed adultery. People have committed so many sins. They lose hope sometimes. The females lose hope. The males lose hope. People have now got to a situation whereby they are engrossed in sin. Allah says, if you have committed the sin of immorality, referring to adultery as well as all other immoral deeds, Allah says, and if at that moment you remembered Allah, you regretted, and you turned to Allah and you asked Him forgiveness, He says, not only will we grant you forgiveness, but if you remain steadfast thereafter, we will open the doors of paradise for you. Yes, you who committed that sin, that adultery, that immorality. Listen to what Allah says. And He uses the word al-fahisha, which means immorality. وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهَ فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ Those who have committed immorality or evil, and they then remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek forgiveness for their sins. The verses continue, and I will skip a little bit, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that for them is forgiveness, for them is paradise, for them shall be the gardens of paradise. Subhanallah. Ula'ik. Amazing, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes it. And this verse has a lot of mercy in it, because many people have engaged in immorality. Shaitan comes to them and tells them, now there's no hope for you. That is an insult to the Creator. If you are willing to turn, if you are really regretting, Allah says, we will wipe it out. Not only that, we will convert it into a good deed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all forgiveness. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, and this is something extremely important, that whenever any person has committed any form of oppression, if they are to seek forgiveness immediately thereafter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He will indeed forgive them. Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah An-Naml. إِلَّا مَنْ ظَلَمَ ثُمَّ بَدَّلَ حُسْنًا بَعْدَ سُوءٍ فَإِنِّي غَفُورٌ رَّحِيمٌ There is an exception for those who have oppressed. Meaning Allah won't punish those who have oppressed and they have started doing good deeds after they have done bad deeds, Allah says for them, we will be very, very forgiving, very, very merciful. In fact, the mercy of Allah encompasses everything. وَرَحْمَتِي وَسِعَتْ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ Allah says, my mercy is definitely broader and wider and it encompasses absolutely everything. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy. 
Remember tonight, we spoke about the mercy of Allah, His forgiveness. These are the nights of the mercy and forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us make these du'as. Let us turn to Allah. Let us never ever lose hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us turn a leaf. Remember, let's not go back into our bad ways and habits. Alhamdulillah, we are happy to announce the launch of the One Islam TV app. Watch hundreds of high quality produced Islamic reminders, Quran learning videos, stories of the prophets, and so much more. Two new videos uploaded daily, insha'Allah. Watch videos on demand, or download videos and watch offline. No more annoying ads or pop-ups. 100% safe browsing for your peace of mind. Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest, or drive with your device switched off. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariya, continuous charity for you, as we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders. Insha'Allah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. So you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.